Thanks, Leslie. We start the news at 530 with a tragic story coming out of Capitol Hill. A longtime Senate staffer, Burner Bud Richard Johnson, has died after getting into a fight outside of a bar in his neighborhood. As Jess Arnold reports, we are now hearing from his family and the friends he knew through volunteering with the local Little League. Like the owner of Scarlet Oak says he did every Wednesday, Burner Bud Johnson, a longtime Senate staffer and Little League coach, headed to what his family calls his neighborhood version of Cheers Wednesday, Scarlet Oak and Navy Yard. This time, though, the family writes that he allegedly got into an argument inside the bar that turned into a vicious assault by a group of men outside where he was hit in the head. He died at the hospital on Sunday. His family wrote in a statement, his sudden departure from our lives and the violent way in which it occurred leaves a hole in our hearts that will never be filled. A fellow Little League coach says he felt the same way when he went to visit him. So I wanted to believe miracles happen, wanted to believe, and when I went and saw him the first time after the incident, um, he looked, it looked dire. He didn't look good. Um, he looked great, though, as Bud. David Hurdy, who coached with Bud in Capitol Hill Little League for five years, remembers him as a source of quiet wisdom. Bud was very low-key and very quiet. So he says it makes sense that he's kind of hidden in the back of this picture. Though low-key and quiet, he would keep the boys busy, and he would say it was on us if the boys were acting out of line. It, we needed to keep them busier. David says it was also evident how grateful he was for his wife, Diane, sharing an email Bud had sent to the league at the end of the fall season. It reads in part, I especially want to thank Ms. Diane. Over the several seasons I've coached CHLL, she has been my book and bench coach. I'm sure she'll tell you how I'm not the easiest to deal with all the time, but she always made it much, much easier for me. That season would become the very last he'd coach, and this bar, the very last he'd visit. In Washington, Jess Arnold, WUSA 9. Police still have yet to make any arrests. There is a GoFundMe page set up for the family. We're going to post that in this story. You can check that out at WSA9.com.